Rob Bryanton back once more uh, here. This is five in a row that we're doing, discussing uh, some of the poll questions that happen at 10thdimension.com slash blog. Uh, this is poll number 25. Uh, today's blog entry, you can read along if you do go to the uh, 10thdimension.com slash blog, is dated November 11th, 2008. And uh, the question that's being asked today is based upon uh, a video blog and blog that happened a few weeks back about the placebo effect and uh, the startling evidence that there actually are times when the placebo effect in scientific studies uh, does have uh, an effect on the data. So the question was this, the placebo effect is real. People who think they are getting medicine are more likely to get better. This demonstrates that we have more control over our health than we realize. This has been one of the central ideas behind the Imagining the Tenth Dimension project. If I were more interested in marketing this project and less interested in being true to these ideas, I would be telling everyone that my book shows people a secret way of understanding reality, and all they have to do is visualize the ten dimensions, and all of their deepest wishes will be realized. This project is not about easy answers, though, because what we're talking about is a complicated interaction between choice, chance, and circumstance. Nonetheless, with blog entries like crossing your arms to change your trajectory, changing your genes, changing your genes too, magnets and souls, everyone has a story, and most related to this poll question, the placebo effect, we've talked about the surprising scientific evidence that we each have more control over our own well-being than we've been tr traditionally led to believe. Is there a certain power in understanding why things are the way they are and understanding that change from our current trajectory is easier than we might realize within a many worlds universe of branching options? Unquestionably. And since the vast majority of visitors to this blog were willing to agree with the idea that we have more control over our individual health than we've traditionally been led to believe, it sounds like this idea is not that big a stretch for people to wrap their minds around. That's all today for today from the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. My name is Rob Bryanson. Enjoy the journey.